This is based on a particularly evil question the IB asked a few years ago. So maybe pause the video, see if you can answer it. Alrighty, here's the answer then. So if I can find the mass of the carbon in the carbon dioxide, the hydrogen in the water, then I can work out uh, the mass of the oxygen that's remaining and then just do a regular empirical formula calculation. Okay, so I've got 14.56 grams of carbon dioxide and here's the equation to work out the mass of carbon in that carbon dioxide. 44 is the molar mass of carbon dioxide and 12 is the molar mass of carbon. And so that gives me 3.97 grams of carbon in my carbon dioxide and that must have all come from my Easter doll. So what's the mass of hydrogen in the 3.97 grams of water? Well, there's the equation. 18 is the molar mass of water, and I've got two hydrogens in my water. So it's 0 0.441 grams of hydrogen in my water, and all that must have come from the Easter doll. Well, what about the oxygen? That's in the Easter doll and in the air. So how do I work out how much of that I've got? Well, if you imagine, this is the 5 grams of the estradiol, 3.97 grams is carbon, 0.441 grams is hydrogen, so the rest must be oxygen. So I'm just going to subtract those masses from 5 grams, which gives me 0.589 grams of oxygen. And it's all plain sailing from here on in. Write out the uh, elements in big letters, molar mass at the bottom, mass at the top. You're actually working out the moles here. Now those are horrible numbers, I need integers, so divide by the smallest, which in this case is 0 0.0368, and that comes out with some nice integers there. Now is that my final answer? Well that's the empirical formula, it might be the final answer. I'll have to double check. So what's the mass of my empirical formula? The molar mass, excuse me. That's 136 grams per mole. And my target molecule, my estradiol, is actually double that. So I'm going to double my empirical formula to get the answer. I say about 1 in 15 people get this right first time.